Man, is August better than freaking July? It's time for Games of Decades Past. Da 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 da. Like I stated pretty much in this improvised intro, so to say, August of 2003 had a lot of games I could choose from. Um, this is pretty much like the time that usually um, everything comes out of late August, which is really close to my birthday. And a lot of those games I actually got for my birthday that I'm gonna show you at the end of this video. But the one I want to talk in particular is probably one of my favorite games of all time, which I haven't even said it until now about any game in Games of Decades Past. Uh, the game I'm gonna talk about today is F-Zero GX. You know what, I'm not gonna be bullshitting you guys, I'm gonna be frank with you. This is by far my favorite F-Zero game. Bar none, and it's really interesting too because the game is not made by Nintendo. Nintendo helped here and there, they gave some assets and stuff like that, but the game was developed by Amusement Vision, the company that was behind Super Monkey Ball beforehand, and now they're working on games like uh, Yakuza and even recently with Binary Domain, which is really odd how they moved from Monkey Ball to F Zero to like Yakuza of all things, but uh, F Zero is definitely one of my favorite games from the GameCube, and there are so many reasons why. I think the best reason is the sense of speed. This game runs fast. I think the game runs so fast that even Sonic the Hedgehog will be like, whoa, whoa, slow down. Like, I'm surprised how steady the frame rate is too. I mean, you literally go in those aircrafts and go for like about 1,000 miles per hour and it still runs in 60 frames per second and it's so fast. And honestly, I never really had that sense of speed out of a game ever in my life. Sonic and other stuff couldn't even think close to emulate this sense of speed. But not even that, I really like the track design too. I like the idea that it's not just like, you know, straight line. You go on curvy roads, you even, you know, defy gravity. There's all those tubes you go inside, there are the tubes you go over them, and the different areas that you get to race on, like Firefield looks amazing. And there's um, Big Blue, which is probably one of my favorite tracks in the whole game. Green Planet, dear god, the, once you get into Green Planet and you hear the music of Green Planet, it's so satisfying. It also has a lot of different content that you get to play as. There's a cool story mode, which you get to play as uh, Captain Falcon and his endeavors of becoming the best racer in the universe. And there's some missions here and there too, like one mission you have to uh, race against uh, Samari Goro. And there's also one mission which is very reminiscent of the movie Speed with Keanu Reeves, and I have no idea why I'm mentioning Keanu Reeves in a video about F-Zero. But uh, there's a mission when if you drive a little bit less than the mileage that's on the screen, you automatically lose. So you have to maintain an amount of speed or else you pretty much lose the missions. And I think this pretty much leads me to probably the biggest flaw of F-Zero GX in general. This game is hard. This is by far the hardest game I've ever played in my freaking life that I actually managed to complete 100%. This is really sad though because I <laughs> lost my memory card when I was moving between houses and all that so I don't have the save to prove it to you but you have my word that I finished everything this game has to offer and it took me about three months or so you know being going to school and doing all that kind of stuff I wasn't playing this game 24 hours a day but uh, there's a lot to unlock all the different racers all the different vehicles you can even make your own uh, aircraft from the vehicle parts you get which is really cool um, there's a lot of like different unlockable tracks that are really nice even the multiplayer I mean it's kind of funny talking about the multiplayer or F-Zero GX because Quite frankly, it's not up to par to what they did with Monkey Ball, pretty much. Because when you think about it, Monkey Ball had like 500 million multiplayer modes. And the multiplayer mode in F-Zero GX is a bit uh, forgettable. I mean, uh, it's a nice that they kept the frame as steady as the single player. But in order to compromise for that, they had to remove a lot of the background elements too. Which makes it very barren, which is really unfortunate. But um, still doesn't change the fact it's one amazing looking game. And... If you're up for some challenge, quite frankly, this is one of the best racing games I think that ever come out. I mean, I, I like it more than Gran Turismo, I like it more than Forza. I think the only franchise that comes near it, that is kind of a competition for me, is Burnout. But besides that, I mean, F-Zero GX is a hoot and a holler. I had a lot of fun, and whenever you finish like a story mode or especially hard tournament, it feels very satisfying, and that's what kept me coming back for more. 
and the fact that uh, all the characters are unique, and even finishing the story mode uh, with characters on like the master difficulty, which is the hardest one, gives this really cool like CG animation, which is really nice. Like some of them are rendered with the game's traditional 3D models, but some of them actually have this cool comic book art style, which is really nice, and I think it's a really cool touch, uh, which really comes like as a very nice reward for people who really put the effort into this game, and I like that. I like that if you play the game on the very hard mode, you get some kind of a cool reward like that. DuckTales Remastered. So, this is the thing. I'm talking about this game right now. It's really ironic because about exactly a decade ago, the game came out, and there hasn't been a new F-Zero game ever since. Yes, there was the F-Zero GP Legend based on the um, anime that came out in 2004, but that really doesn't count. I think uh, we want a legit F-Zero game by this point, and no, the Nintendo Land Mini game does not count. I want a legit F-Zero game, but according to Shigeru Miyamoto, he was really disappointed with how F-Zero GX turned out to be. He thought it was way too hard, and the odds of us getting uh, another F-Zero game is very limited, and basically he said that uh, the anti-grav uh, physics of Super Mario Kart 8 is gonna be exactly what F-Zero is for the people who like F-Zero. Well, I love you, Shigeru, but sometimes I don't have to agree with what you say. I think F-Zero is one of Nintendo's best franchises of all time. It's something different than what they usually do, and especially with the exposure of Captain Falcon, especially after, you know, the two Super Smash Brothers game. It would be really nice to see another F-Zero in the vein of um, F-Zero GX, of course, but add a little bit more features to it, like I would love a track editor and, like, online mode. Track editor for those games will be so fun to do. It kind of be like Track Mania in a way. And um, I would really like the Return of the Deathmatch mode that was missing from uh, this game that was in F-Zero X. Which basically means you're in a very small arena and there's like 30 vehicles and you have to destroy them all. Which was really fun and, and you can still do that in GX. But there's no mode for that, it's pretty much just part of the main races which... I was a little bit disappointed of, but I still think it was a way better game than X. It's a way better game than the original F-Zero, that's for sure. And I just love this game to death. And to this very day, I like to um, pop it out into my Wii or my GameCube and just, you know, play it and just have fun. Um, so that's pretty much my Games of Decades Pass for this month. And there's a lot of stuff on uh, August I'm going to show you about now. Yeah, now you saw all the stuff I had to choose from, it wasn't exactly too easy, so join me in September when I'm going to talk about more games, and um, you guys take care, and uh, see you next month. Blah!